Okay, we'll just end on, on one last simple case. What's this? Yeah, Bowen's disease squam in situ. And I just wanted to show you this one because look at how wild the pleomorphism can be in squam in situ. Like you can see those cells from outer space, like even from 2x, they're ginormous. You can see them from way up here at like cruising altitude. And some of the most bizarre pleomorphism in the body, it's I see like in pleomorphic sarcomas, particularly like pleomorphic liposarcoma, has some insane pleomorphism. And the other place I see insane pleomorphism, squamous cell carcinoma in situ, Bowen's disease. For some reason, they just get dramatically ugly. And yet the prognosis is usually very good, right? I mean, occasionally these can invade and be more aggressive, but I feel like most of the Bowen's I see likes to hang out in the epidermis and the adnexa, it likes to stay in situ. Um, and, and I don't see um, invasion in Bowen's that often. It happens, but I feel like it's those glassy, keratinocytic looking uh, um, or keratin producing squames that I see invading more. And these ugly bluish Bowen looking ones um, tend to be more in situ. And, uh, but that's just an example of how crazy the pleomorphism is. And you can also get crazy weird atypical mitoses in, uh, that look like all sorts of unusual shapes in uh, Bowen's disease, squam in situ. All right, guys, there's a, a little review of um, a potpourri of cases. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, for those watching at home, thanks for watching. Have a uh, great day.